good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever it is you are, and welcome to my channel. My name is Emily, and for those of you who are new here, I am a Brit living in Canada, and my channel is pretty much made up of my life in Canada, life as an expat, travels and adventures, and just what it's like to live as a Brit on the west coast of Canada. Today I'm going to do a video that has actually been requested quite a few times. Um, I'm going to do it based on my own experience and my own opinions. This is going to be different for everybody, um, but hopefully my own experiences and sharing them can help somebody else. And what I wanted to talk today about is finding your first job in Canada as a foreign worker. This was one of the scariest um, parts of my journey, personal journey to Canada. I actually left the United Kingdom without any job in Canada. Obviously with COVID that's changed now. I don't actually think that you can come to Canada on the same work permit that I was on without having a job offer before, but I'm just gonna talk through my own experiences because that's all I know and I am definitely not in a position where I can give you advice. So this is more just to if you're interested or perhaps it can help you decide what you need to do. But for me, this is how it happened. And when I left the United Kingdom, I did not have a job offer. I just kind of came, didn't really know what my what to do when I got here or where to look. And I guess that was my first downfall. Um, and my first thing that I would say to anybody is definitely do your research. So I came on an IEC visa or a temporary work permit, and that is a working holiday visa. You might know it by that name. Um, it's a two year visa that is issued to you when you can work anywhere in Canada and you can work for somebody for as long as you want or as short as you want and you're not restricted at all. Obviously, when you are trying to look for a job with a temporary work permit, there are a lot of roadblocks that tend to get thrown in your way, especially if you were like me looking for permanent work and for full-time work. One of the things that I did do though was save up enough money to support myself for about four to six months, I wanted to make sure that I had a nice buffer just in case that things didn't work out or just in case I wanted to take some time to travel around and just kind of chill out after all it was supposed to be a working holiday visa. So, so I would definitely say that that was really, really helpful because it helped me have time to explore my options and not just jump into something that I didn't want to do and that I would be unhappy in. Canadian work experience really is the kind of foundation of being successful and it's very difficult to get. It seems that for me when I was trying to find work that even though I had many years of experience professionally in my home country in the United Kingdom, Canadian experience does seem to be valued more than any kind of other experience or education in other countries. So if you are coming to Canada and you have a wealth of experience in your chosen industry or position, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will be translated well into the Canadian market. Another thing that I did when I first moved here was get my CV looked at by a professional. Now you can have this done by a recruiter or there are companies that specifically look at and rewrite CVs or resumes. Um, for myself, in the United Kingdom, we write our CVs differently to the way that they do in Canada. We have quite long CVs and quite detailed. They kind of list out all of your experiences and everything that you've ever done pretty much and volunteer experience and anything that you can throw onto the page, it's on there. But in Canada, the resumes are a lot shorter. So I chose to get my CV looked at by a professional just to make sure that it was what employers were looking for, what they were used to. Because a lot of the times as well, different roles can translate into different things. And this actually happened to me. So I actually had to make a lot of notes on my CV because what meant one thing in the United Kingdom Kingdom did not mean the same thing in Canada. And off the back of getting your CV or your resume looked at by a professional, I chose to work with a number of recruiters. I think it was around four or five. And I looked for recruiters that were experienced in placing foreign workers. So these recruiters were used to placing people from other countries. They knew employers that were looking for people from other countries or are happy to take on people from other countries, especially with temporary work permits, because not all employers are gonna be comfortable with hiring someone that only has a two year visa, even if 
you have all the intention to want to stay for longer or if you want to apply for a permanent residency in the future. A lot of the times these recruiters have a lot of temporary work too so what I would suggest to people looking for jobs is especially your first one is be open to temporary work. I personally couldn't take on temporary work for a couple of reasons. Um, I had to find a full-time permanent contract but if you can, if you're able to, temporary work really does tend to open the doors a lot for people and sometimes it even leads to more permanent contracts and permanent work. So definitely be open. I know a few people where this happened where they took on a temporary contract and then it turned into a permanent contract. I was constantly looking through recruiter websites, the recruits that I was working with and also um, Indeed and LinkedIn. It's very difficult when you build up a professional network in one country and then you go to another country and you don't have a professional network anymore. You kind of have to do everything from the ground up. So I also reached into my network at home to see if they had any contacts in Canada. A couple of them did and I found that that was really helpful to kind of just get a feel for the market and kind of start planting some roots. After looking for a number of jobs in the specific industries that I was either used to or wanted to be in or was experienced in, I found that I needed to cast my net wider. So I started to look at industries that weren't in my wheelhouse, the things that I wasn't as experienced in. I ended up looking at roles where I'd actually be taking a step down in what I was used to. So I left a senior position in my role in the United Kingdom and I started looking at administration jobs because I knew going into a different industry, I would have to kind of work from the ground back up again. And that is one of the things that can often happen when you move to a different country. You have to kind of start from the beginning again. It's one of those sacrifices that you have to make. Not everybody's prepared to make those sacrifices, but for me, I was really lucky. It worked out really, really well. Um, but it's definitely something to take note of. And so although I was looking in the industries that I was experienced in and what I wanted to work in, I also cast my net wider and started to look at the industries that were the strongest in where I was, and that was Toronto. And Toronto is a very financial focused city. There are a lot of finance companies in Toronto. So I knew if I focused my efforts there, that would be more beneficial than say, focusing my efforts on something else that perhaps doesn't hold as much weight in Toronto as finance does. For example, in Victoria, where I am now, there's a lot more tech, but a lot less finance, which is why a lot of people that work in finance move to Toronto and a lot of people that work in tech move to Victoria. I think the biggest thing to keep in mind when you're looking for your first job, especially as a foreign worker, is to just not get yourself down. Keep an open mind, you know? It's a really, really, really difficult thing to move countries and to find your first job. But honestly, I feel like once you get your foot in the door and once you start getting that Canadian experience, it really is great to start building up your network and it definitely does get easier from then on in. So make sure that you give yourself time to look around and to do your research and just focus in on what you value and what is most important to you. So for me, my biggest thing that I valued was I wanted to make sure that I was in something that I could learn something from that was going to challenge me and also that was full-time and permanent. Now your values might be different, maybe you're traveling, maybe you're not spending as much time in a specific place as I was. So definitely keep those kind of things in your mind when you're searching and Make sure to stay positive, you will find it. And honestly, once you do, it should get so much easier from then on in. I really hope that you found this video interesting and informative today. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I post videos every single week and it would be awesome to have you along th for the ride. Until my next one, I hope you have the most wonderful day and I will see you again very soon. Bye.